More than a thousand years ago, Buddhism came to the secluded valleys of Bhutan. The legend says that a guru riding on a flying tigress brought Buddhism to Bhutan. Now, a new idea is on its way to Bhutan. Democracy. Democracy does not arrive on a tiger's back. Electronic voting machines are being brought to the voters in remote villages, deep down in the valleys and way up in the mountains. The king feels that it's time to... that democracy, the, the change is going to be inevitable. And it's better to have it during a time of stability rather than have uh, the uh, process of democracy come into the country during a time of instability. So I think uh, our king is a very wise man, I think a uh, brilliantly wise man to think of all this because I don't think many rulers who sit and hold the reins of power would ever dream about handing over or bringing about such sweeping changes. So you can present me your plant first. What have you gathered? The information, okay. background information that you have. Basically, I have the profile and the uh, constituency manifesto of all the four candidates. For this guy, you mm. might not actually have to spend one whole day because he's already in the losing side. Yeah. Okay. So, the thing is because two is going to win for sure. Yeah. That is the same the same thing. That is the the same thing. That is the the same thing. That is the the same thing. the Kili is leading the mask dancer clowns in their preparations for the big religious dance festival, which is taking place just before the coming elections. Number two will be talking to the voters as they travel from Thimphu to Tashiyonsi. Yeah. You can talk to them about the difficulties. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's a big sacrifice for voters to... Time, money. You know, to go from here to Yangtze to cast a vote. They have to stay overnight you know, at two places, mm. isn't it? And if they're traveling with the family, it's going to be, you know... Chering covers the elections for her newspaper, The Bhutan Times. Yeah. You're listening to the news from the Bhutan Broadcasting Service. Our reporter, Benjamin, says Jamkha Town is packed with vehicles and people heading towards their constituencies for an assist in the election. I am going for the boat on 22nd. I will go from Jiling to Samchi. And on 23rd, from Samchi, I will start early in the morning. And I have to go straight way path at around 7 hours. And rest of the hours, I have to push up or climb up to my village. And on 24th, I am going for casting boat. I've been working as a reporter for the Bhutan Times since 2006, and I'll be going to Tashi Yangtze to cover the National Assembly elections. I'm 26. I have a three and a half year old son, Kawangil, and I don't live with his father anymore. A 63-year-old woman who is from Tashi Yangtze. She walked all the way from Thimpu to Tashi Yangtze to cast her vote. There are 600 kilometers from Thimpu to Tashi Yangtze. 
People are now, you know, getting a better choice. They, they, they have a choice of, uh, you know, huge number of uh, information, you know, huge number of media organizations coming out with different information. Yeah, and uh, what are your plans uh, for <coughs> the uh, coverage of the uh, general elections on uh, March 24th? First, we want to look into the, the, the inside story, what made <coughs> elect this guy. <laughs> Two parties participate in this first election. The wind horse is the symbol of the People's Democratic Party, and the three cranes represent the Bhutanese Party for Peace and Prosperity. So <laughs> Consum <laughs> Majagi Hingi Chi no, Lagi Chi Fisutalar Mela, Cha Shuni Semi the Shura Shuni Nagi Sumi the Naja Titibro, the Shurunye Nina, the Najagi Niki Edir Juni, the Ta Nalesundo Sumbe, the Ta Shadu Kormindu, the Desumachalu, Jurchido Jua Kanem is a Shunila. Lasso Karisha. Lasso Tapagi Levese, Najay Charu Benime, Pagi Sobe, Nejadagi, Teller of May, Tetani Machello, Sauro, Mori Leni, Tani Telememodita, Tergi Sugin Digul.
Yeah, this Jack looks like someone I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop his brother. Officials from the Bhutan Power Corporation says the explosion completely destroyed the 400 kV transmission tower. A militant group called the United Revolutionary Front of Bhutan claimed responsibility for the blast. The group also claimed responsibility for the four bomb blasts in January. A successful passing of a high mountain must be celebrated with an offer of gratitude toward the gods. So even when driving a strong four-wheeler, a smoke offering is prepared. Um. Doctor <laughs> <laughs> Like The symbolic burning of the past year provides space for the coming.
Der lange Schlitz, super, fliegt im Dees. So basically, whatever problems you've had with the ECB or with the other party, uh -huh. just a roundup. One of, one of the most serious uh, complaints they lodged against me was about Shakshin Gyumba, the temple, the uh, Shakshin mm. temple. Uh, they accused me of uh, performing animal sacrifice. Uh, that accused yeah, you? Uh, they've been using that cue even during uh, the debate. Oh. That resolution has come up, yes. and they found me that they found that uh, I had done nothing, nothing of that yes. sort. So, do they get sued for defamation? Uh, if they don't, if they don't calm down, I yes. will, I will. Yes. But uh, at the same time, I have to consider the whole uh, Gyo plus the image of the country. Yes. You know, I mean, yes. the first time, and I don't want. And it looks so prehistoric, you know, to talk about animal sacrifice and yes. uh, <laughs> you know, cursing them. That's what yes. they said. Yes. That's what they said. Uh, they actually claim that I named uh, their people yes. uh, in the temple. Um, but I heard that uh, they are considering, uh, you know, relodging the complaint. Yes. If they do that, then I'll take them to court. Yes. They have used enough, they, they have damaged uh, our stand quite yes. a lot because of that. No one is a seasoned politician here in the country. Uh, but I didn't expect uh, it to become, you know, that dirty out here. <laughs> And have you decided which party you're going to vote for? I mean, which candidate you're going to be voting for? <laughs> we can tell that one. Let me know. Update. All right, bye. So, what is the one thing that is going to make you a winner? People's uh, trust and confidence to the party and to the candidate. Do you think you're going to have a sleepless night today? Uh, what is the one thing that you like about the other party, about PDP? One thing you like about the, about PDP? I like the party. No, I don't have really, I don't have any dislikes or likes. Okay. okay. So what time are you planning to leave tomorrow? Yes. What time are you going to leave? Uh, around at nine. Nine o'clock. Okay. Are you planning to switch off your phone or something like that? No, no, no. Yep, yeah, that's it. Tolong lemah, macam macam. Wah, tadi roti roti ngu berbedo wah. Soalnya, nak cuci kau bantu cari roti anak kerja berde. Tama nak kerja umi. Ya, ulah ulah, ini macam ulah kecap si. Agas, kau. Fup, ini jadi. Tengah. Bawa bawa. Bob the Mimu Golaba Lamentian is there. Gusam <laughs> Jawa kisah ni, na zoom cendera, kudian ni berubah, macam ni, 
To a people with half the population being illiterate, the dancers represent the real story of life and death. To view the dance performances protects you and gives good fortune for the coming year.
Hi, Bla, how are you? <laughs> Are you DPT supporter or PDP I'm supporter? Not, I'm not. I'm yeah. very neutral. I'm, no, uh, I'm absolutely. Uh, I think uh, to me, really, which party wins is really. Uh, uh, I think it, it, this whole thing is a training process for the for the voter mm -hmm. more than the thing. Yes, I think for the voters to learn what is what are they voting in for. Mm -hmm. So. Then uh, for the next five years, we may suddenly find with a rubbish government and the voter will be told, well, you voted. <laughs> you know? So next time when you vote, think carefully before you vote. Yes, sir. It's the end of the day. The election went well and the election commissioner announces the results. The election for the National Assembly of Bhutan, for the first parliament of Bhutan, the voter turnout is 79.4 percent. We have the DPT, the Druk Pinsun Sopa, winning 44 seats. The PDP has only been able to capture three seats. Yeah, yeah, cut in here. Yeah, cut in here. You don't want to do it outside. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, come on, you owe us this much for it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please be expressive. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. No, 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 wait, one second. Uh.